hey there everybody. So in this short how-to video, I'm going to be showing you how to run a white test in eViews. Now this is not all the sort of background and sort of theory of or even how white test works. If you're interested in that, please see the companion video uh, in this series on header scedasticity. This is just, you know, how to, how to get it done and interpret the results. Particularly what we have here is ad expenditures or advertising expenditures and here then sales associated sales data. This is time series data and we're going to be testing for heteroscedasticity using the white test. So I've run the regression here. Uh, again, regressing ad with associated R squared. What we want to do is we want to, in this case, uh, run this white test. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the view tab. Okay, so I'm going to click on there. I'm going to click on residual diagnostics. I'm going to then go down to heteroscedasticity tests and then I'm going to run a white test. Now, I'm just going to pause it quickly there. Uh, we've included all terms, right? So uh, our right white test is then running a uh, uh, an auxiliary regression uh, uh, with the dependent variable being the squared value of the residuals. So we see here uh, our, our uh, auxiliary regression results. Um, we have our associated test statistic for the white test, so that is our observations times r squared, so our observations, bouge, our r squared, bouge, right? We get a test statistic, white test statistic of 6.71, uh, which we can then apply to a chi at squared table. Uh, I'll show you in just a second. We also have probabilities over here too. Uh, so the short version right now is we have strong evidence of heteroscedasticity, um, but let's, uh, let's pop over to that table and look. So this is a chi squared, uh, table uh, again any chi-squared table will do they're all the same this one is from this website if you're from this website and you don't want me using this just let me know take it down anyway in this case our degrees of freedom is two why because this is the uh, degrees of freedom is taken from the auxiliary regression and in this case our degree of freedom is our number of explanatory um, terms here, right? So it's only two, right? Um, <clears throat> so we have two degrees of freedom, read over 5% level, 5.991 is our critical value, and indeed our uh, test value 6.71 exceeds that. Uh, so you can see we do have evidence, strong evidence of heteroscedasticity. Clicking quick back over here. Uh, and we also see these in the probabilities, right? This probability is greater than zero, uh, significantly greater that we have heteroscedasticity. And so that's how this works. And that's all there is to it. And uh, I hope this was helpful for you. And we'll see you again next time.